Yeah, so we're seeing uh, some bullishness for gold, but uh, not such optimism for the bubbly. In fact, uh, France's champagne producers are experiencing a season like no other in recent memory. And as Ben Barnet reports, the bubbly is not flowing as much as it used to. <laughs> it's harvest time here in the Champagne region of France. A season for hard work and usually celebration. But this time, the financial crisis crashed the party. After years of rising demand for the precious bubbly, the champagne bubble burst. Today, customers are a little bit more reluctant to, to pop a cork. In the first half of 2009, sales worldwide dropped by almost 20%. They decreased drastically in the US and the UK, the biggest importers of the French wine. In cellars, bottles are piling up. The last uh, inventory uh, showed a, a, a stock of 1.2 billion bottles. So, this year, to avoid overflowing the market, the industry decided to cut the output by almost a third, just like the OPEC does with crude oil. And by the way, if you do the math, champagne is actually much more expensive than oil. At an average price of $40 a bottle, that brings a barrel of champagne up to $8,000. To boost demand, some winemakers are even considering selling bottles at bargain prices. It will be perhaps possible to uh, uh, find a good promotion, uh, but it's always on a short time and uh, in very small quantities. At Moet et Chandon, a house established more than 250 years ago, the mere idea of bargain prices raised eyebrows. Uh, we cannot even think of this. And we prefer not to sell it, to be very frank. Can you keep it for yourself? Yes, because one way or another, it will sell. Waiting for better days. Yes. <laughs> so, of course, this might not be the best year for the industry, but according to winemakers here, it doesn't really matter because these grapes might be some of the best they've seen in a long time. And they can probably wait for better days. For Bloomberg, I'm Ben Barnier in Champagne, France. Okay, let's just say I'm still doing my part for the champagne industry, as are my co-workers. So I guess they still have some uh, supply to send here to Hong Kong.